to God. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Let's give our musicians a hand. Amen. Amen. Get a workout, don't they? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank God. We give the singers a hand. Amen. 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 I'm really glad to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 Ah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, thank, you, thank you, Jesus. Thank Somebody you, say Jesus. thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For your goodness and mercy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. I truly give God praise, <coughs> honor, and glory for his goodness, his mercy, and for his grace. Yes, Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. We normally, the first of the year, God usually gives me a message for the year, mm -hmm. a prophetic <coughs> message to give to the church, not only just the church, but also to me, amen, amen. amen. and to show us what direction that God would have us to go in, and how many of you know that <coughs> prophecy is of God? Yes. Amen. We ain't talking about fortune telling. That's right. Somebody say amen. 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 There is a big difference. Yes. Fortune telling is of Satan. Yes. Yes. But prophecy is of God. Yes. Amen. 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 And God will give us a word for us to go on and show us how that he would want us to, to walk and what we can expect in the new year. And I, I give him praise for that. I have been preaching for over, for 28 years, I have been preaching. And for those 28 years, God has given me a prophecy every year for the church. Last night as I was sleeping, I knew that this was the first Saturday of the new year, and uh, I began to think, I said, well, now, Lord, I said, you know, I talked to him, I said, I don't know what you would want me to tell the people concerning 2014, mm -hmm. but you know, the Lord showed it to me in a dream Thank you, Lord. last night. So we do have the message tonight for the year 2014, and I want to congratulate those of you that have made a decision. And I thank God that it was the end of 2013 mm -hmm. that you made a decision amen. to change your life. Amen. Yes, amen. To try to be a better you than what you have been. And by making that decision, amen, uh, you made it at the last of 2013. And today you can look forward to what God is saying for your life for the year 2014. Amen. Now I believe that the prophecy, prophecy is given to the believers. Amen. So that the believers will know what thus saith the Lord and what the Lord has in mind. Mm -hmm. So all of us that are in here tonight, we are believers. Amen. 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 And so how many are ready for that word? Amen. Amen. Every seventh year, according to the word of God, is a sabbatical year. The Sabbath unto the Lord is every seventh day is a Sabbath. Every seventh week is a Sabbath. And every seventh month is a Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And every seventh year is a Sabbath. And since the uh, millennium of 2000, we have had one sabbatical year, which was 2007. We're right now in the second sabbatical year of 2014. Amen. 
And this is very significant because everything that the word of God talks about in sevens is very, very important in the word of God. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the word of God, you will find out in the Old Testament how that God directed Moses to tell the children of Israel the things that they were supposed to do and the feast they were supposed to honor when they got into the new land. He pulled them out as a people mm -hmm. a long time ago with Abraham. Mm -hmm. And then they got in bondage in Egypt land. Mm -hmm. We talked about, I think, last week or so. Amen. And while they were in bondage, they were praying and seeking God because they were having to do hard, hard labor. Amen. And the Egyptians was lording over them. And so they began to pray and to seek God, amen, for deliverance. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you have been lorded over by Satan because he's kept you bound. He's got you down. Amen. He's lording over you like he's your master. And as long as you obey him, he is your master. Amen. 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 But I want you to know something tonight. God's got a better plan for you. Amen. 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 And he has already promised in his word, just like he promised to the children of Israel, that he would send a deliverer. Amen. How many know Jesus is the deliverer? Yeah. Amen. How many know he will deliver you out of every situation the devil tries to put you in yes. if you give your life to him? Yes. Somebody say amen. 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 So then we find that, that, that after they began to, to get closer and closer to Canaan land, Moses began to talk to them and Moses began to tell them, when you get over into the new land that you're supposed to remember every seventh day as a Sabbath to the Lord, holy unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. A day when you do no, no work, a day when you do nothing but read the word of God and worship God. Mm -hmm. So a day of rest mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for you. Amen? Amen. And then he began to tell them, and every seventh week you are to also have a feast. A holy convocation. And then every seventh month, you're supposed to also honor that. And, and, and in our, our calendar, it's July, which their calendar is different than ours. And they got words that's not like our words. But they count. And then for seven months, they have a specific feast for that. And then when you look at, at the seventh uh, year, as a reason for the seventh year. And I want to read this to you. Amen. I want you to understand what God is saying to us. Got your Bibles. Go to Exodus 23. Amen. Exodus 23. Exodus 23. Amen. If you need a Bible, we got Bibles. We'd like for you to follow along with us in the Word of God. So you know what I'm telling you is true. Not what I think, amen. but what the word of God says. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. It is the word of God that's going to get you to heaven. It ain't what Sister Margaret say. It ain't what some other preacher say. It's what the word say. Amen. Somebody amen. say amen. 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 Exodus 23. If you have it, say amen. amen. Look at verse 10. And six years thou shalt sow thy land, and shalt gather in the fruits thereof. But the seventh year thou shalt let it rest and lie still, that the poor of thy people may eat. And what they leave, the beasts of the field shall eat. In like manner thou shalt deal with thy vineyard and with thy olive yard. Now, I'm, I, I already explained to you the other seven, seven days, seven days, seven weeks, seven months. I'm keying in on the seventh year because this is where we are right now in the year 2014. This is the, the uh, seventh year, amen, another seventh year of the year 2014. 
And this is what the word says concerning that. Mm -hmm. That the seventh year thou shalt let it rest. Talking about the land. Mm -hmm. And let it lie still. Now you know, every year you see these farmers. They plant year after year after <clears throat> year after year. They may switch off. Instead of planting corn, they might switch off and plant uh, soybeans or wheat or whatever. And, and they think that's letting the, the fields rest. But God said every seventh year, they shouldn't even plant anything. And if there's anything in the fields from where they have harvested, they should leave it lay there. And anything that comes up from that, I mean, you know, sometimes you get stuff come up that you didn't plant. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. I mean, the seed just takes place in the ground. It just comes on up. Corn sometimes come up, even in your regular garden. Amen. This is what they were supposed to allow those that was not prosperous, the poor, to go and glean in the fields and find food to eat. Amen. And whatever they didn't get, according to the word of God, then the beasts of the field should be able to eat. Amen? Amen. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Amen. And so, uh, 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 there's so much there because what we do in this country, we don't abide by what the laws were. See, that's the, the law of the land. See, you can't get around God's law. Amen. But when you do it any other way, things ain't going to work out the same. That's why we have so much fertilizer and so much uh, 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 insecticide and everything being sprayed on the crops in order to get a good yield and it's turning around and it's hurting us because the land is not fertile like it would be if they would let God be God and let the land rest. Amen. Amen. But instead, they plant year after year after year, and the land is getting where it does not have the nutrients in it. That's how come when you eat vegetables and that, things like that, you're not getting the vegetables, the, the nutrients that you're supposed to get. Because God placed it in the soil. But once <coughs> the soil has been robbed of its nutrients, you're not getting anything out of those vegetables. That's why you need to take some vitamins. I know y'all don't want to hear that, but... <laughs> They're laughing because I've been talking about the, you need some vitamins. You're telling the truth. You're talking about how sick yeah. you are all the time. You need vitamins. You're not going to get it out of these vegetables. Amen. And you're not getting it out of your fruit. Amen. And so we need to think about these things. But I'm getting sidetracked. Amen. Amen. Oh. I looked at this here and it says here. Let's go to Levit Leviticus 25. Keep going toward the New Testament. Leviticus 25. I'm just reading you the scriptures first, and then I'm going to tell you what the Lord said. Amen. Amen. Mm. Leviticus 25. Mm -hmm. Verse 4. Amen. But in the seventh year shall be a Sabbath of rest unto the land. Once again. A Sabbath for the Lord. Thou shalt neither sow thy field nor prune thy vineyard. Mm -hmm. That which groweth of its own accord of thy harvest, thou shalt not reap. Neither gather the grapes of thine vine undressed, for it is a year of rest unto the Lord. And the Sabbath of the land shall be meat for you, for thee and for thy servant, and for thy maid, and for thy hired servant, and for thy stranger that sojourneth with thee, and for thy cattle, and for the beasts that are in thy land, shall all the increase thereof be meat. Mm -hmm. Every seventh year in a millennium was a sabbatical year. It means a year of release, also a time of rest for land and crops, a time of giving to the poor from the fields and the vineyards. Mm -hmm. Go to Deuteronomy 15. This is our last scripture. Deuteronomy 15, chapter. 
Deuteronomy 15. Uh -huh. Look at verse 1. Amen? Amen. Amen. At the end of every seventh year, thou shalt make a release. And this is the manner of the release. Every creditor that lendeth ought unto his neighbor shall release it. He shall not exact it of his neighbor or of his brother, because it is called the Lord's release. Mm -hmm. Of a foreigner thou mayest exact it again, but that which is thine with thy brother, thine hand shall release. Say, Sister Margaret, what does that mean? That means that according to the word of God, they were talking about talking to the Israelites. And each man of the Israelites, they were their brothers. Mm -hmm. And if they borrowed something, then you're supposed to, in the end of that seventh year, if they hadn't borrowed it, let them have it. Let them have it. Release it. Release it unto them. But someone that is not your brother, a foreigner, someone that's outside of the Jewish nation, then you can get that back from them. Or if you have a creditor, if your brother or your sister, say even in the household of faith now, mm -hmm. let's, let's break that down a little bit. Because what we've been talking about was in the Jewish nation. But in the body of Christ, a lot of times we loan people things. Amen. Or we give people, loan them some money or whatever, and they never pay you back. Well, according to the word of God, if you know that they are a brother or a sister, amen, in Christ, mm -hmm. then you ought to just let it go. Amen. Instead of going over there trying to beat it out of it. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many of you know that, 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 that the church is bad about that? <laughs> I want you to know that is not God's will. Amen. amen. How many of you know that, that we are the engrafted children of God? Amen. We have been engrafted into the tree. When they fail to accept Jesus Christ as their Savior, the word of God went to the Gentile. How many know you're a Gentile? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? You're not a Jew. Amen. Yeah. You were not born in the Israelite family. You're not part one of, then again, you might be on the lost tribes. But as far as we know, amen, amen you are a Gentile. Amen. amen. And so therefore, therefore, this word is, has to be spiritual for you. Amen. It cannot be, uh, you know, just downright to the word the way that it was in the Old Testament. We still live the word of God in the Old Testament, but instead of living the word of God uh, naturally the way they did, we live it spiritually. Amen. 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 So this is what I'm saying to you. I'm saying that, that if someone especially in the church. Mm -hmm. Your brother has wronged you. Or your brother has failed to give you money back. Mm -hmm. Amen. Then you have to, in the end of the seventh year, if you want to do what God say, then let them have it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just forget it. Mm -hmm. huh? But if it's somebody that is not in the household of faith, you can go and get that. That's what the word, is that what the word said? That's it. I said, is that what the word said? Amen. Amen. How many understand that? Amen. Huh? Amen. We got a lot of problems with in the body of Christ. A lot of times we be doing stuff against each other, taking each other to law, and according to the word of God, that should not be. You should not be taking your brother or your sister to court. Amen. Amen. You should be able to sell it among yourselves, and if you can't sell it, let it go. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. And then uh, Deuteronomy 15 and 1, we read that, didn't we? Mm -hmm. A year of release of every Hebrew slave. I got to explain that. See, in, 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 the, in the Word of God in the Old Testament, some of the well-to-do Hebrews, they had slaves. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that in the Sabbath year, 
they were supposed to release them. In other words, they were supposed to say, look, you know, if you want to go, you can go. You know, you have fulfilled your obligations to me. If you want to be a free man, you can be a free man. Amen. But if they decide they want to stay, then you then, and they say they enjoy being working with you, they enjoy being with you, then you can keep them. But you got to give them the choice to be free. Let's look at that spiritually. If there's someone out there that, that is down and out, and I'm not talking about financially. I'm talking about the devil has got them bound. The devil has got them to be a slave. Mm -hmm. And you see that person is being tormented by the devil. Those of you in the household of faith have an obligation to help set them free. Well, amen. Amen. And I thank God because you don't have to wait till a sabbatical year. To go out and preach to somebody. Or go out and tell somebody. But the most of us like to wait and let the pastor do it. Let me tell you something. It ain't up to the pastor. Amen. Yeah. Each one of us should be willing to speak to somebody about oh, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Tell them your story. Amen. Tell them how God has brought you out of a horrible pit. Amen. Tell them about all the things that are going on. Amen. And how he brought you out. Hey, you know, thank you. That might be the very thing thank that a Lord. person needs. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. To find some hope. Yes. Yes. Amen. To find some hope. Yeah, that's right. Amen. That's what we're about over here. We're here to give you some hope that there is hope in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is your answer for every situation. I said every situation. Talking about something I don't know. I done been there and done that. And hey, and somebody said about a t-shirt. Oh, somebody tell me about it. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I was a slave to Satan. I danced for Satan. I went out with Satan. I done all these things I thought I was big enough to do. Amen. I was a slave to him. Anytime he said let's go, I was ready. <laughs> Till one day I got so burdened down. I was so downtrodden. I couldn't hardly hold my head up. Didn't want to get out the bed in the morning. You say, Sister Margaret, you, oh yeah. Every one of us in here got a testimony. Yes, yes, yes. Every one of us in here that been down that road. All of us that been down some kind of road, some kind of way. We have been down trying by Satan. Our stories may not be the same, but anytime you cannot rise above, oh glory shot. You can't rise above your circumstances. It's because Satan's got you back. But when you give in to Jesus. Hey, yeah. Amen. he'll give you a way out. Oh, yeah. I say he'll give you a way yes. out. Yes. How many know he's the way out? Yes. Huh? Yes. How many know he can put Satan to shame? How many know he made Satan? Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying to you. God made Satan. Satan didn't make God. God is supreme. God is everything. Yes. Amen. Go So then, it's a year of release. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to tell you tonight, God is going to release you. Yeah. I said, God is going to release you. I said, God is going to release you. I don't know I don't know what your burden is, but if God is going to release you. I said, God is going to release you. He's just waiting for you to just say, Lord, here I am. Here I am. He's going to release you. I said, God is going to release you tonight. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God is going to release you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, God is going to release you. Amen. Um, he's got, he's got to release yeah. you somewhat, but he got some more things he's going to release you. Amen. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? He's going to release you, Brother Jim. I said he's going to release you. Amen. He's going to release you, Brother. Amen. He's going to release you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. He's going to release you, Brother Bill. I know what you're going through, but he's going to release you. I said he's going to release you. Slave to Satan. Amen. Amen. I know you didn't came so far, but there's still some things he's trying to press you down with. Amen. Amen. God is saying he's going to release you. Amen. He's going to release you even more. Amen. Because this is a year of release. Hey, thank, you, thank you, Lord. Thank you. The year 2014 is a sabbatical year in this millennium, the millennium of 2000, amen? amen. And I hear God saying, and he told me this all night last night. When I woke up this morning, I told Brother Hunt, I said, I said, you know what? I said, I've been preaching all night. He said, you ought to be pretty tired. I said, I, said, I am tired. I said, but I, I said, a little bit here and a little bit there, the Lord will wake me up with giving me this message. And he said, this year 2014 is a sabbatical year in this millennium. And I heard him saying that this is your year of release from bondage to sin. From poverty. Ha. I said poverty. Amen. Some of us just barely make it. I said poverty. Amen. Loneliness. Woo! I said loneliness. Amen. Somebody in is lonely. Amen. Somebody is looking for somebody and they're lonely. Amen. Amen. God said this is your year of release Amen. from that. Yeah. Satan has kept Thank you down long enough. Amen. Thank you, sickness in your body. Your year of release of sickness, lack, spiritual knowledge, a lack of spiritual knowledge. I heard some of you say, you know, well, Sister Margaret, I, 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 I read the Bible, but I don't understand it. I, you, know, you know, God's going to take the scales off your eyes. And I say, ooh, yeah. he's going to take the scales yeah. off your eyes. Some of the things that you can't understand, some of the things that you've been struggling with, and you don't understand, God is going to take the scales off your eyes. He's going to open it up where you can see and hear what thus saith the Lord. Somebody say amen. 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 Go ahead. Give me time I had scales on my eyes. But you know one day I began to hear the word for the first time. Back in 1978 I believe, I began to hear the word of God for the first time and been in the church all, almost all my life. Amen. But for the first time I began to hear the word of God. Amen. Yeah, amen. And the scales came off my eyes. So when I opened the book, amen, the words of God would start jumping off the page to me where I could understand what the Spirit of God was speaking into my heart. No more was I confused. Amen? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. And I got to tell y'all something. I, I know some of you, amen, you want to start from, from Genesis and start working your way through the Bible. I, listen, it, you won't get so confused. <laughs> Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Because there's some big words in there and some names I can't even pronounce, and I know you can't pronounce them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And you don't understand the whole story to follow it all the way through. If you're just beginning to get into this, start with Matthew. Amen. Because you turned your life over to Jesus Christ. And Matthew begins when, when Jesus came into his ministry. And everything that you see in the red writing is Jesus talking. Amen. And he will be talking to you. I said he will be talking to you. Yes, and if you take his word and put that word upon your up on the tables of your heart and begin to walk in what you read in that word of God, go to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John till you get a good knowledge and understanding of who Jesus is. Yes. Amen. And what he expects from you. I said and what he yes. expects from you. Yes. Amen. Amen. 
Because he expects for you to live for him. Once you accept him into your heart and into your life, he expects for you to turn from your wicked way and begin to serve him. And he will begin to show you what is right in the word of God. Somebody say amen. 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 The rest of the scriptures after that, after you get a good knowledge and understanding, then you can read on from the Acts of the Apostles and all of that. And that tells what the Apostles began to preach and teach what Jesus said and give you even more understanding as to what Jesus has said. Yeah. Somebody say amen. 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 And then it said here, for all God's children. In other words, a lack of spiritual knowledge, he's going to change that for all of God's children. Now, you got a lot of folk out there that think they know the Word of God, and they will try to tell you what the Word of God says, but if they don't know Jesus, they can't tell you nothing. Right. That's Amen. right. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. All they're doing is telling you something that they heard. <laughs> huh? Amen. But you read it for yourself so that you'll know what the Word of God is saying, and you'll gain spiritual knowledge into what the Word of God is saying. And then we got, oh, I got to tell you this. Greedy companies will give to the people. <laughs> Jesus, God spoke to me tonight, today, and he told me, greedy companies are going to have to give to the people. Mm. Do you realize that for the last few years, some of these companies have not given their people a raise?
there's no reason for people in some of these countries to be going without babies. Babies Amen. just wasting away because they ain't got enough food. Ain't got decent water to drink. There, there's no need for that. Amen. But some of these governments, you try to send something to them, and these governments is taking the food for themselves. Oh, y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Do you know what I'm talking about? Amen. Huh? Amen. God's going to make a way. He's going to make a way. And these people are going to get fed. Amen? It don't make no sense. Amen? But I'm telling you what God said. In a, in the fields, amen, are going to be able to supply some food for people. Jesus told me this morning, he said, they will let God's people go. They will let God's people Praise go. God. Children of Israel was in bondage in Egypt, and they only had a few things to eat. They didn't have good food to eat like they were going to have in Canaan land. Mm -hmm. And God told Moses, so you go down there and you tell Pharaoh, I said, let my people go so that they can go and worship me in the wilderness, mm -hmm. in the desert, so they can go and sacrifice unto me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is what God is saying to you. Some people say, well, I would come, but I ain't got a car. I would come, but I ain't got no way to get there. God's going to change that if you let him. If you make up in your mind that this is what you want to do, God will make it available for you. Amen. Money will become more abundant. Right now, everybody is struggling because they ain't got enough money. But money is going to come abundant. They running around talking about, oh, you know, the, the, the mighty dollar. The dollar ain't going to be worth nothing. You know, this, that. Don't you know God is in control of all of that? You know, I get so tired of hearing folks try to blame the government and try to blame, blame the president for all this kind of stuff. Don't you know God is in control of everything? Yes, 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 yes. I don't care what kind of president you got. I don't care what they try to do. They cannot control what God is going to do. Amen. 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 Pharaoh thought he could. You see what happened to Pharaoh. Yeah. The children of Israel trusted God. And I'm telling you tonight, trust God for what you need. Trust God for everything. And God said to tell you tonight, amen, that this is a sabbatical year and this is a day of release. This is a year of release Amen. unto Amen. his people. Amen. <laughs> Give the Lord praise. Amen. He said infrastructure to our country will be restored. It's so dangerous right now to go across some of these bridges and things because, because of the, the infrastructure has is, is been there for a long time. And some of these places, they've even closed some of these bridges. They ain't got the money to fix them. But God told me last night, he said the infrastructure to our country will be restored. A lot of things is being done in Washington to try to keep a lot of things from being restored. But I got news for them. They cannot stop what God's going to do. Yes, amen. You, you know, if, if, if people in government do not do what's right, and they continue to go against what God has said and establish for the good of the people. How many of y'all know he will move them? He will move them. That's why it is very important that you, you, you continue on in God. And don't let nobody try to stop you. If that person tries to stop you, don't you know God will, will go so far as to move them? Amen. Amen. The infrastructure to our country will be restored. Prison doors will be open and the righteous will be free. Amen. There's a lot of folks who's in jail that shouldn't be in jail. There's a lot of folks that's in jail that then found the Lord and the Bible says here that the prison doors is going to be open and the righteous is going to be free. 
Children of the righteous shall be restored to their families. I said, children of the righteous Thank you, Lord. shall be restored to their families. Amen. Ain't nothing too hard for God. Nothing. Ain't nothing too hard. Amen. This is a year of release for all that are bound, that believe in God. More souls will be added unto the church as the shackles of Satan will come off the people and they shall be free to worship their God. Amen. Amen. Don't you know that's what he did to Satan down there in Egypt land? He took the shackles off of the people so that they'd be free to serve him. Hallelujah. There's folks right now, amen, that are shackled down, burdened down. That's right. Can't rise above. That's right. But he said in this year, this sabbatical year, he is going to free amen. the people so they can worship God. You know, a lot of that, 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 that bondage, Keeping them from, from serving and magnifying God is the fact they just have a lot of unbelief. And that unbelief is coming from a lot of bad teaching. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. A lot of that unbelief is coming from things that they've heard other people have gone through. So what am I saying here? God said that in this year, amen, it's going to change. Praise God. I'm looking forward to it. How many are looking forward? Amen. 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 The sea of most souls Amen. is coming. Amen. Huh? Amen. Spiritual blinded eyes will be open so God's people can see and understand his word. Amen. And many will enter the promised land that flows with all good Amen. things, which is the kingdom of God on earth. Rest in me, saith God, and the land shall provide you. Rest Praise in God. me, yeah. saith God, mm -hmm. yeah. and the land shall provide for you. Ain't that all right? Amen. All right. I said, ain't that all right? Amen. 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 How many want to rest in God? Amen. 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 How many tired of trying to do it on their own? Well, huh? Amen. How many know it's time for a change? That's it. Amen. And he said, if you give him your life, and if you walk in the ways of God, Amen. He will deliver you and he will set you free. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Ain't God good? Amen. Amen. Ain't God good? Amen. So what are you saying, Sister Mark? I'm saying that the year 2014 is a year of release for you. It is a Sabbath year mm -hmm. and it is a year of release. So all the things that you went through and year 2013 that has been bugging you and you were not able to get a rise above mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you think oh lord i gotta take it into the year 2014 i'm here to tell you no you don't That's right. amen. Amen. amen god's got it all you, under control amen. Amen. i said he's got it all under control Serve a mighty yes, God. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I know it.